Good day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to eJunkie TV. I know most of you have missed my voice and most of you have seen me for the first time. So I think this um this deserves like a little champagne pop or something. <laughs> As you can see, we're trying to get things to a whole new level so that we can bring you guys with more content like this so that it could be more of an interactive session. And as you can see, things are still in the development phases, so you please bear with us. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is talking about the new season of Jujutsu Kaisen and the I'm giving a little bit of review about the new episode or the first episode of the series which aired a few days back. So with that being said, let's get started. Before we go deep, I will first of all have to talk about the animation. A lot of people have been saying a lot of things, mainly the fact that the season 1 animation is better than the season 2's animation. Although that is very much arguable, I think the season 2's animation has like a few things it gave up in order to get some other things like he gave up on more detailed more structured faces and expressions to give you better expressive faces and more fluid animations the criteria for which one is better than which is it is depending on your preference but be don't hold back on watching this season two of the anime because of the animation because the animation is also beautiful very much beautiful anybody who is watching Jujutsu Kaisen on a low quality device or download or downloading a low quality low quality version of the anime is you're just doing yourself like a huge injustice so i would advise anyone watching the season two of the anime to go and download the anime or watch it at the highest quality possible that is the best thing you have done for yourself so now diving deep into the episode one that ed and the potential it has for throughout the series of course we could look back to the season one of the anime which did absolutely well which mappa did an absolutely good job with and think maybe they will not be able to top it with this season two or will not be able to do more and for manga readers such as myself we will know that we're looking forward to the shibuya arc where a lot of things happen and a lot of things go down so for this season two of the anime first let's talk about story wise now the way that the story is going or the direction that the story is going also again for manga readers who also or who already knows everything that's going to happen in the in the first part of the season two which is gojo's past and as much as we know the direction it is headed the way that the anime is portraying it is making it very very good even for manga readers to want to see those scenes again now Anime, anime only, anime only watchers are having the time of their life, and I would say as a manga reader that I am enjoying these things as well. Like most times, I I would rather not watch, I would not watch a series because I've already read the manga and like there's this conflict going on. But like Jujutsu Kaisen season two is giving me enough enough draw in to make me want to watch this series, watch the season two of the anime so story wise the direction of the story is going flawlessly well we are getting to see more of the child childlike version of gojo we're seeing we're getting to see more of him as a teenager his interactions with ghetto his best friend his interactions with other characters whom he grew up with and we're getting to know him better as a character as well as other characters that we had not had enough um connect with in this season one like um shoko and uh is it Urahume? Orahume and um, Meme, like we're getting to see those beautiful interactions and it gets to give these characters more life. Apart from the story, the other part that really got to me is the animation direction. Now, we got to see a lot of CGI mixed in in the season 1 of the series and we got to see like a lot of details with their movements and all of that. 
but the season three the season two's animation direction is giving more um giving more view to how the animation is being directed like in the scene where they showed uh urahime telling meme about how the barrier that they went to break was being arranged or the part where urahime walked into the building and they did like an area view of the of the building showcasing some other you know small small detailing and as much as they gave off a lot of like facial detailings for from the season one and came into the season two and gave more details to the background gave more expressions to the to the characters i i really love how the director is taking this season two and we can see from the little message that gege akutami sent or posted that he as well is loving the direction of the season two's anime now this will lead me to my um third point which is the expressions i really love their expressions like you can really tell that gojo is a teenager at this time and as much as we're used to his normal playfulness from the season one in this season two of the anime we are we, we are shown more of his teenage teenage attitude and we get to see more from a from a teenage like perspective and the expressions not just from gojo but from other characters as well is is really is really well done that it gives the it gives the story a lot of life and it it makes it makes for a wonderful view so for everyone waiting to see if this is into his watch or holding back because of the animation i will just give you the I just give you good advice to get into the season two of the anime so apart from all of that mentioned the episode one was perfectly done in my opinion the show from gojo and geto's relationship their dynamic uh where they always clashed at each other the talk in between uh, Shoto, shoko gojo geto meme and urahime when they destroyed the building, the conversation between Urahime and Meme, the the whole the whole building up to what will happen in the future. This episode one was perfectly done, no mistakes whatever, not in the direction of the animation, not in the plot progression, not in the characters themselves, the emotional expression, like everything was perfectly done so for anybody holding back on watching the season two or starting it and following it as it's ongoing i would advise you to get into the anime that is the best advice i could give anybody right now because if you're waiting for the season two to drop to fully drop before getting into it i i'm going to be playing with you you're going to get a lot of spoilers from all forms of social media that you're into and the best thing you would do if you don't want to if you don't want to follow it on as it's ongoing is it that you don't care about spoilers or you just cut yourself entirely from society but if you're not going to do that then i would advise that you really get into the season two of jujutsu kaisen and enjoy yourself once again i am black king reporting from me junkie tv and i will see you guys next time stay weird